Hey everyone, this is Nate, support engineer at Voltage. In this video, we are going to go from not having a Voltage account or anything to having a fully functional Voltage stack for our business. We're going to be learning about BTC Pay Server, Lightning nodes, how to automate liquidity, and a lot more. First thing you want to do is go to voltage.cloud, and in the upper right corner, go ahead and click sign up. On the next screen, hit sign up again. And now we will type in an email and password that we want to use for our Voltage account. Once that is done, click register and you will get sent a code to um, verify your email. After you do that, go ahead and click submit. And now you can log in. After you log in for the first time, you will see a welcome screen. From here, click create node and then click lightning node. We are going to do the standard plan. So a standard node is great. Make sure that you choose mainnet and click continue. On this screen, we are going to name our new lightning node. This is a name that the entire world will see. And then we will also give our node a password. This is different from our account password. After you are done doing that, click create. And now we will wait just a moment for the node to finish starting up. We will eventually be brought to our main node dashboard here. And the first thing you will see is, would you like a free channel to your lightning node? And a channel is just a way for your lightning node to receive funds. So at Voltage, we offer you 500,000 Satoshis of uh, liquidity to get started. In this example, we are going to accept it and the channel uh, will be opening. While we are waiting for this channel to open because it is an on-chain Bitcoin transaction to open a channel, it could take um, up to an hour. When the free channel from Voltage is broadcasted to the Bitcoin network, the uh, box here will display an update where you can see it in either mempool.space or your local surge client. So we can go ahead and click channels, channel analytics, and we will now see that there is a pending channel. While we wait for confirmations on that, we can click home, terminal web, connect, enter your node password, manage LNC pairing phrases. And on this page, we will generate a pairing phrase so we can turn on auto liquidity. To do this, name your connection and make sure it is an admin macaroon type and then click create LNC pairing phrase. After you do that, hit the copy icon next to the pairing phrase that you just created. Click home, terminal web, launch. A new tab will open up called terminal.lightning.engineering. On this page, click connect my node and then paste your pairing phrase and click connect. In the next screen, you will be prompted to create a password for your terminal web connection. This can be any password, but this is different from your Lightning Node Unlock password and your Voltage Login password. And this will only be used in the browser that you are currently using. If you would like to access your terminal on a different uh, browser or a different computer, you will have to go through the pairing process again by generating a new pairing phrase on your Voltage Node dashboard. Once you have successfully connected, you will see that you have your uh, node alias in the upper right corner. While we are waiting for the on-chain confirmations, we can turn on our BTC pay server. To do that, go back to your voltage node dashboard here and click BTC pay server. Click let's go. Give your store a name. Now, you, this is just for your first store. You can have multiple stores. You could delete this one and, and create more. So Nate store, we enter our node password. This will link up our lightning node with BTC pay server. So we, so we can receive lightning payments. Now we will get a default password. Go ahead and copy that and click login and then paste in the password that you just copied. You will now be on your BTC pay server dashboard. On the left side, you'll notice that you have lightning with a green light. That means it's successfully connected to our lightning node. First thing that we want to do is go down to account, manage account, password, paste, and create a new password for your voltage login. So up to this point, we have four different passwords to keep track of. We have our voltage account password, our node unlock password, our terminal web password, and now our BTC pay server password. Great. Now that that's updated, there's a couple things we could do. We could 
turn on Bitcoin on-chain payments. So that would give the customer the option of paying us through a regular Bitcoin on-chain transaction or Lightning. So like up to them. To do that, we can click Bitcoin, connect an existing wallet, and enter extended public key. So you can extract what's called an XPUB from your hardware wallet, or if you generate a new wallet, such as Sparrow Wallet, sparrowwallet.com, you can create a on-chain uh, wallet and then paste in your public key here. When you do that, it will link everything up. After you paste in your XPUB, go ahead and click continue. It will give you a list of addresses, just click confirm. And now we will have the option of doing Bitcoin or Lightning. To change settings here, you can click settings, go to checkout appearance and configure any of this to your heart's content. This is mostly for BTC pay server specific point of sales, etc. For something like Shopify, what we will do is we will click Shopify. The best thing to do here is go ahead and click docs at the bottom, type in Shopify on the BTC pay server docs. If you scroll down a bit here, it'll tell you step by step how to do it. And this is pretty straightforward. And then you'll be all set up with Shopify. So that's docs, D-O-C-S dot BTC pay server dot org slash Shopify. Okay, we're almost done. The next thing we need to do is just wait until that channel opens. So we can click channels, channel analytics, pending. And when this status changes from pending to active, then we can continue with the next step. All right, we see now that our channel open has some confirmations. So we can go back to the voltage dashboard, click channels, click channel analytics. And we can see now that it is there with a remote capacity of about 497,000 Satoshis. So what this means is we can receive up to that much from our customers now. So 497,000 Satoshis at the time of this video is about $350. So we're, we're pretty much all set now. So we can link this up to Shopify, as I mentioned earlier, get BTC pay set up, link it up to Zapright and start selling things. Okay, as we can see, we just received a 400,000 sats total from our customers in this example. So that's really good. But the problem is we only have 500,000 sats of inbound. So if that hits 500,000 sats, we can't receive anymore. And we can go ahead and we click channels, channel analytics, and we can visually see this is how much inbound we have left. So how do we fix this issue? Earlier in the video, we went to Lightning Terminal at terminal.lightning.engineering and got that all set up. So let's go ahead and go back there and we can configure this to do automatic liquidity. Once you're there, hit log in, type the password that you made. Once you get logged back into your Lightning Terminal, go ahead and click loop. And what loop is gonna do for us is it's gonna automatically convert the Bitcoin that we, we are receiving in our Lightning channel to our on-chain wallet. So in this example, I'm probably going to want to pull it back pretty far, but not all the way. But right about here is probably good. And then I will click next. We're going to do auto loop. I'm just going to leave it all defaults. If that doesn't work for you, you can always go in and change it. Advanced options here. So you can have the loop out address be your cold storage. It could be an exchange. So you can automatically send your Bitcoin that you're receiving to your exchange account, perhaps at river.com if you wanna sell it for and convert it to, to dollars. So you can always put an address there. If you leave it blank, it will just go to the on-chain part of your Lightning node. Uh, after that, I'll click next, and then I will click submit. And that's it. Okay, so after the loop is complete, you will see that uh, there will be a history you will notice that your liquidity changed. So now we have 440 of inbound back. And if we go back to our voltage node dashboard, we will see that those sats are now on chain. So uh, if you remember, we did not enter an address into the auto loop out. So it sent it to our lightning nodes on chain wallet. If we put an address to our cold storage, these sats would be in our cold storage right now. And the way it's set up is as we receive, when it reaches that threshold, it'll do another loop out for around 340,000 sats. So if I am receiving just 10, 20, $30 a day or whatever, this channel might be great for that. 
But the question is now is, okay, what if I'm doing a lot more payments? What if I am receiving a lot more? Or what if I just want more inbound liquidity? What do I do? I don't want to just survive on this one channel from Voltage forever. After all, if Voltage, if that if that node goes offline, my entire business is uh, not going to work. So we're going to check out amboss.space, which is a really cool liquidity marketplace that allows people that are running really big lightning nodes on the network with tens or hundreds of channels to essentially uh, sell their liquidity to folks like us who need inbound liquidity. So the first thing we will do is go to amboss.space and at amboss.space, we're going to go ahead and click login in the upper right corner. We're going to click continue with node. We're going to hit copy. Basically, we are logging in with our Lightning node right now to prove that it's our node. And then on Voltage, go ahead and click Thunderhub and launch Thunderhub. And once you get into Thunderhub, click Tools on the left side, sign message, paste, sign again, copy, back to Amboss, paste in your signature and click sign in. Now we are logged in to Amboss with our Lightning node. And this is pretty cool. So there's Hydro and Magma. Hydro is like an automated liquidity marketplace and Magma is more you can go shopping and choose who you want to buy channels from. Uh, Hydro is cool, but you need to add funds to your Hydro account, which we're not gonna do today. We're just gonna pay for one channel. So we're just gonna go, gonna go ahead and do Magma instead. So I've already got this set up. I'll show you here. If we go to our uh, MyNode, so it, it shows us our node here. We can click settings. And what you need to do is you need to add a notification setting. That way there we know when somebody wants to, uh, you know, sell us a channel or we need to do something. So uh, for free, you could connect to Telegram. Um, and if you subscribe to the Amboss Spark plan, which is around $5 a month, you can do email. So it's up to you. In this account, I have done the email. I think the Spark plan is pretty cool. Next, I'm gonna go to Magma and tell you what, I wanna buy a 2.5 million sat channel and I'm gonna click get offer. So this is gonna give us a uh, inbound of 2.5 million sats, which at the time of this recording, Bitcoin's about $70,000. So that's about uh, almost $1,800 worth of inbound. Um, and it looks like Amboss is already saying, hey, this is a pretty good one to buy from. So we can go ahead and click that. It'll tell us what our price is. Uh, that looks pretty good. We don't have to overcomplicate this. Um, we want to pay with Lightning. And then open order. So we have the order created. So what's going on now is Amboss is notifying this Bratislava node that we are looking to buy a channel. At this point, we have to wait. Uh, we can monitor our Telegram if we have our Telegram set up or our email. You don't have to like babysit it. I think it gives you like 24 hours to reply once it happens. Okay, we are back. The seller has uh, confirmed that we could buy a channel from them. So our status is now waiting for buyer to pay. So we'll go ahead and click that. Uh, and now we have to pay for the channel. So we'll hit copy here next to the request. Go back to Thunderhub, home. Send on the lightning side, paste that in, and pay. Okay, after you pay the invoice, it will say seller sent transaction as the new status. And what seller sent transaction means is that the seller actually opened the channel. So we can monitor that here. We can see transaction in the mempool. Uh, we can also see this in our Thunder Hub. If we refresh, go to channels, we can see in the upper right corner that it is pending. So we are pretty much done here. Uh, now all we have to do is wait for the transaction to get a few confirmations, and then we will have a brand new 2.5 million Satoshi Lightning Channel. Okay, once you have three confirmations on that channel open, you can uh, see your channels. So on the voltage node dashboard, I can hit channels, channel analytics, and I can see now that I have two channels. I have one from C2, which is our original, and now we have 2.5 million sats uh, from this node that we just bought liquidity from.
So that's pretty cool. So now we can receive up to 2.8 million sats, roughly. Um, and that is pretty good. We can now go back to our terminal web and we can see that we have about that much uh, receivable. Uh, at the top here under loop, you will see your nodes total outbound and total inbound. You can see the individual channels below. Um, and, and, and we're pretty much good here where our shop is good to receive. And what I would do at this point is just let your store make pay, uh, you know, receive payments from your customers. As you do that, this bar here will gradually go blue as your outbound increases. As your outbound gets to around maybe a, a third of the way here, that's when I would move this up and make sure that I have loop out turned on. If I move it here, it's going to think that I want to send on-chain Bitcoin to increase my outbound liquidity. I don't want to do that. I want my customers to send me. So I can't set this right now until that blue kind of fills up uh, this bar here. Uh, but when it does, I can, I can modify at which point do I want um, the channel to convert the Bitcoin from Lightning to my on-chain wallet. And it'll automatically do this. So I really only have to set it and basically forget it um, when I start receiving. And I think that's pretty good. If your customers are saying, hey, my payments aren't going through, et cetera, you can then maybe go back to Magma, maybe buy another channel. Um, and, and grow out your node slowly. Uh, that is perfectly uh, perfectly possible, especially on Voltage, you have full control. Uh, so that is gonna do it for this video. I know it was kind of a long one, but this is the 2024 video of how to, how to run your node in a, as easy and automatic way as possible so you can accept payments for your business using the Voltage infrastructure. Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Join our Discord community uh, server at voltage.cloud slash Discord. Leave a like and subscribe. And thanks again for watching.